Welcome to the weekend here at Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo and today is Friday, August 23rd, 2019. Let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. Last year the judges told me I need to be bigger. Well, I guess, ask and ye shall receive. Apparently what the judges said to Sean Clarita after the Olympia last year must have stuck because a few days ago, someone told me they expect Sean to be on stage at somewhere between 100 and 175 pounds. To put that in perspective, last year, Sean competed at 160 pounds and I thought it was one of his best looks ever. So if you can imagine that, that physique plus another 10 to 15 pounds, now all of a sudden, a few guys in that lineup look like they might have a serious problem on their hands. They say the key to retirement is finding new things to pursue to keep your body and your mind sharp. And I guess Flex Lewis is into busting the seams on shirt sleeves these days, now that he's allegedly pushing a cool 250 on the scale. Even though he rode off into the sunset, I still can't think of Flex as retired, especially when you consider that he's giving guys like John De La Rosa and Luke Sando a run for their money. But hell, if you can do it and still feel good, why not? Those are the perks of being one of the greatest to ever do it. Just wait till next year when he enters that open class. I don't know if you guys heard about this, but supposedly there are a bunch of geniuses planning to storm the gates of Area 51 next month because they want to see alien technology up close and personal. Or if they want to make things easier on themselves, they could spend five minutes trolling Zavis's Gaydens Instagram because this dude is working with some next level tech right now. The men's physique contender is three weeks out from yet another run at the Olympia title where I've seen some people predicting he'll finish as high as the top six. X has proved to be a tough out when he's at his best so if he delivers in Vegas a top six finish isn't entirely out of the question. I just love those bank robbery scenes where the guy screams Put the money in the bag and no one gets hurt. Because in my head, I like to think that I would rush that guy and choke him out before he even knew it hit him. And with the improvements that classic physique title contender Chris Bumstead is bringing this year, every time he posts a photo, I feel like it's a put the money in the bag moment for the rest of the division. Chris is as healthy as he's been in a long time and you can see that in the way his body has that little extra pop to it that he didn't have last year. Now, of course, that hamstring injury he just reported a few days ago might throw a monkey wrench into this scenario. But he's a two-time runner-up coming in as his all-time best. And that battle for the top three is going to be one for the ages. Speaking of guys trying to make a run in a top three spot in classic physique, the way he's looking right now, I think our guy, Henry Pierreno, might have a chance to push his way in there as well. Staying off the stage this year was probably the right move for Henry in hindsight because it let him do what he needed to do to make a run here. His proportions look better, I think he's more detailed and his conditioning will be spot on. He's got the total package so if those three top dogs leave even a hint of daylight that might be all it takes for him to bust through. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo reminding you to always be true to your passions and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.